my boy squad, we have some news and it's about Ligaya here. So she is growing up so, so fast and I am starting to see more and more of her personality and it has always been super duper delightful and pleasurable. But I also read that at one point in their adolescence, the birds make a sort of switch. And I believe that switch has happened today. My boy squad, Ligaya is now starting to be aggressive to certain people. Mm-hmm. For example, Ate Elsie, go try. Gaya, 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 come, 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 come. Look at this. See? She's not friendly right now. Can I pet your head? It's just me. Yeah, I'll pet your head. Good girl. Oh, good girl. She can, she'll let me pet her. Okay, it's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Good girl. Yes. Yeah. So when they reach a certain age, they start to reach a teenage age, I guess. And she seems to be okay with me and RJ. But Ate Elsie and my Titan Karna, they show, she shows aggression too. Which makes me think that she likes males better than females. <laughs> yeah. I kind of read about this and parrots will have a certain preference for a certain gender or a certain person. But she seems okay. At this point, a certain program of training will be required to get her used to Ate Elsie in particular. Because like, let's say we got to go out of town, Ate Elsie has to take care of her. We got to start showing Ligaya that Ate Elsie is a friend. Even though Ate Elsie like pretty much raised her as well and fed her growing up. And to do that, it takes a lot of parrot bribing using snacks. Ligaya, come. Step up. Let's go. Let's go. Step up. Good girl. Yes. She's biting, but not because out of aggression. She's just touching my hand to make sure it's secure. But what she was doing earlier to Ate Elsie, that was like aggression. Don't worry. I'm not going to drop you. Promise. Here. Go, go, go. Yes, okay, okay. Oh, you wanted a neck scratch, okay. <sighs> all right guys, let's talk. So I suppose this is all part of the entire parenthood thing, right? You raise a baby, everything's pleasurable. Of course you have your challenges, like crying at night, waking up early to feed, all of that stuff, it's all lovely experiences. But then your baby grows up into a toddler, into a two-year-old, or in this case, I guess it would be compared to a teenager, right? See how fast our baby Ligaya is growing up? I believe she's reaching her teenage years now. Feathers almost completely full in. Um, she's looking like an adult bird, but she is also acquiring, I guess, the brain of a teenage bird, of an adult bird. Right? At this stage, it's so critical um, because what we do from now on will really affect how she develops as, as an adult bird, right? I've done a lot of research at, about this part of a parrot's life and I guess what it takes is a lot of positive reinforcement. I mean, if you think about it, like humans, right? Sorry, they're doing renovations next door. <laughs> humans are very smart animals, right? And then they reach this teenage rebellious age and then they kind of outgrow it. Well, parrots are the same. Parrots are extremely smart animals. Uh, and so they reach this kind of like stage in life where they realize like they're, they're conscious and they can make decisions for themselves. And if what they want doesn't fit what is going on in their environment, they can rebel. Like, or if what they want contradicts what we want or are trying to do around the bird, the parrots will rebel. But uh, all it takes is um, a lot of positive reinforcement. Unlike humans, <laughs> punishment does not work with birds because with the avian mind, with the parrot mind, you are their like life partner. You, you're someone they trust. Um, and so like, you've got to build this long time bond. I guess it's like a human being. Like if the long time bond is there, even through this rebellious stage and every time they're rebellious, they will eventually like love you even more by the time they're out of this rebellion stage. I'm so happy I'm including this part in the vlog so all of you guys can see this part. All of you guys who are like... 
Did I mention I'm looking for a new place? <laughs> Anyways, all of you guys who are like, I want a parrot, everything seems so like hearts and dandy and love and cuddling and it's so cute. <laughs> well, it also includes this part, so stay tuned. All right, so here's the game plan, guys. Now that she's eating seeds, now that she understands the clicker, we are going to use that to our advantage to overcome this rebellious stage. Now, right now she's showing aggression to my aunt and Ate Elsie. To me, that means that she kind of doesn't like girls, but I don't know if that's true, all right? Has she shown aggression, aggression to me? Not quite, but when she does, you can count on me to be patient. The only time she ever bites me, and it's not even a bite, um, is when she's like trying to, when I say step up and she's checking my hand to make sure it's solid, she'll touch me with her beak, sometimes with her beak open to make sure it's solid so she can step on. Um, another time she'll pr attempt to like fake bite is when she's hungry and she wants me to feed with the syringe She'll like sometimes let me know she's hungry by going ah like that. But that's not like aggressive biting But in the event of aggressive biting, I'm ready. My heart is ready I already know not to put her in the cage as well. For example, I already know not to punish her things like that Just lots of positive reinforcement is all it will take and a lot of love Let's go back to the child. Hey, Lagaya, how are you? Can I scratch you on the head? Yes, all right. You were a little cranky earlier to Ate Elsie and Tita Encarna. Is it because you were sleepy? Oh yeah, another thing I'll notice though is she was acting aggressive when she was like right before nap time. So I almost feel like also that when she's sleepy, just like a child, she'll throw tantrums. It's so funny how the um, parallels between a parrot baby and a human baby are like the same. So I, I keep that in mind as well. No interaction when you're tired, just back to the cage so you could sleep. She just woke up from sleep and now she's back to being an angel. Yes, you're an angel and I'm trying to understand you. I know my mom is watching this saying ha 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 karma. <laughs> Wanna play? Hmm? Oh, you're adorable. Are you saying sorry for earlier? You're being extra nice right now. Okay, step up. Step up. I can take you out. Step up. See, she checks my hand, hops on top. Good girl. No, almost an awkward position. I know it's kind of slanted. Step up. Yeah, we'll go out. Step up. Yeah, it's secure. Good girl. Yes. Yes, Ligaya, look at what Tita and Karna has. Look. Yes. It's a gift for you. Yay. Good girl. Yeah. No, she's just inspecting. Good girl. Yes. Thank you, Tita and Karna. Tita and Karna is such a nice lady, right? Yes. Remember that ladies are great. Mm -hmm. Can Tita and Karna pet you on the head? Just the head. It's okay. She's just watching. Yes. Good girl. I'm trying to teach her that like other people are okay. There's. But Tita, I, I've, I've realized that she gets aggressive when she's sleepy. Like she gets cranky. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. It's just me. It's just me. You get cranky also? Yeah. It's okay. She gets nervous, see? She's like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be the mean teen. Hey, hey, hey. No. No. See, this is what she's doing. No, Tita, don't. I think she's in aggressive mode again. It's okay. We'll move at your pace, little one. Yeah. You okay? I'm determined to get into this bird's mind. Let's do some recall training, huh? Isn't this fun? Recall training? Yes, for before when you fly, you will know to come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, go play. Here, play with the toy. Go away first. Here, see? A toy. Good girl. Ligaya! Ligaya, come! Come! Good girl! Yes, it fell here. Right there. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Aren't seeds awesome now i think whenever she gets into that aggressive stage it's when like either tita or at the lc is kind of hovering around and she doesn't feel comfortable 
I'm starting to understand her borders now, but like this is stuff I didn't read about. Um, and I guess just like humans, there is no like, there are books on like how to raise a child, but you kind of have to play by ear. But I do feel like much of this stage is experimental. We're gonna have to find out, get into your bird mind. You know what I'm saying? You wanna do more recall when you're finished that? Mm -hmm. Okay, go, here, play. The Gaia, the Gaia, come. Good girl, yes. Good girl. That's a corn, dried corn. I find it amazing that they just know how to shell seeds. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if it'll work from a further distance. The Gaia. See, she even knows her name. Come. Come. The Gaia, come. The Gaia. <laughs> the Gaia, come. Come. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. All right. Eventually, I want to do it without showing her the seed, but just getting her associated with Ligaya and come is, uh, is the goal here with repetition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wasn't that fun? Isn't this fun? Hmm? What? Oh, she wants me to take her somewhere. I'm just psychically bonded with this bird. I already know that what she wants. Where do you want me to take you? On the perch? Come, step up, step up, step up. Oh, you have to. <laughs> You're excited. Step up. Almost. Other foot. Good girl. All right. Whoops. Slip there. Again. Sorry. Sec next try. No, I'm not picking you up. You have to step up. She can do this. Step up. Yes. Go, go, go. Promise I won't drop you. Well, maybe she wants two hands, but I'm holding the clicker. Fine. Good girl. Yes, um, this is not working. <laughs> Come on, step up. Good girl. Yeah. Don't worry. Promise, won't drop ya. Good girl. Okay, you wanna be put back in the cage or you wanna go on the perch? I guess it should be me who decides these things, but perch, perch, or cage? Wow, look at those wings. You're gonna be flying soon. Step down. Step down. Good girl. Yes. Awesome. I love that she seems to like to perch now. I like that a lot. By the way, for those of you who are wondering about this parrot seed mix, um, my Tita and Karna brought it from Toronto from a pet store. It's really nice of her. Um, and it's essentially a mix of different seeds, nuts, and grains, um, and fruits, dried fruit. So there's dried fruit here. I think that's papaya. We've got pumpkin seeds, sea sunflower seeds, very high in fat, so it should be. Seeds and legumes should be fed very limitedly in a parrot's diet because it's so high in fat. So these are just pretty much supplement to her main diet, which is fruits and vegetables and soon pellets. Uh, see, we've got like peas, green peas, legumes. I do know that there is pistachio in here. Um, what else? Oh, and surprisingly, look at this. That's a hot pepper, guys. Apparently, parrots can eat hot peppers. Isn't that crazy, right? We have a lot in common. Birds like spice. Okay, now here's one thing I notice about this mix that I need to get rid of. Oh, there's barley in here. Like, see, different grains of barley. Oh, there's corn. One thing I need to get rid of are these pieces. See this? This here is peanuts. Now, I remember from when I used to keep... Oh, there's dried banana in here. Uh, when I used to keep sugar gliders. You know those? They're called flying phalangers. They're like flying squirrels from Australia that are marsupials. They kind of look like a bat. I had those and they would also eat fruits and that kind of thing. But I remember I couldn't feed peanuts because of this thing called alpha toxin, which is produced from a certain mold that grows on peanuts. So there's kind of a risk associated with feeding peanuts to your birds. Some bird keepers feed peanuts to their birds and some people feed peanuts to their sugar gliders, but I prefer not to take the risk. So I won't be feeding her the, these peanuts. I'm gonna be fishing them out. I don't see a lot in this mix anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at you flapping those wings. Flap those wings, flap those wings. Flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Flap those wings. Good girl. Yes. Yes. You're such a flapper. Guys, we're gonna have this bird flying soon. Oh man, imagine a flying teenage bird. The pressures and joys and excitement of bird keeping. Even my fish seem intrigued by the bird. 
seriously. They're watching her up there. Flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. <laughs> She's conscious of the camera. I look stupid. We'll get through this, promise. Your eyes are changing color too. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the camera. Just ignore. Pretend it's not there. It's not like thousands of people are watching you right now. They'll be watching you later. Flap those wings. Okay, stretch those wings. Stretch those wings. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Mm-hmm. Ooh, flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Oh, you wanna leave? Okay. I get the sense she doesn't wanna be on this perch no more. Okay, fine. Okay, she changed her mind. She wants to chew on some bark. She keeps looking at the camera. Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt you. Step up. See, she checks to see if my hand is solid. Then she climbs. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, promise my hand is solid. I will not drop you. Good girl. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Now, well, the one thing about returning her to her cage, the cage has to be a place of fun and safety and refuge for her. But it can't be that way if the cage becomes like a punishment, a place where you bring her when she does something bad. So I, like I said earlier, can't put her in the cage when she's been naughty. Yes, go play. Lots of toys to play with. Mm-hmm. She totally loves RJ. <laughs> Come. 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 <laughs> Good girl. Let's see. Clicker? Yeah, when she comes. What's that for? Well, I'm doing a come command. Another uh, possibility I considered is that perhaps Ligaya is jealous what? and protective over me and RJ because she shows aggression when Ate Elsie or my Tita Ankarna's around, so could it be that she's like jealous, protective over us, which I've also read is a very parrot thing to, to do and be. Hmm. Things to consider. And your butt smells great. Like I <laughs> they grow so fast. So, so fast. I feel like I'm like speed parenting. The Gaia, the Gaia. I still don't think she knows her name. <laughs> Careful. I mean, she just learned how to like properly perch, I would say a couple days ago. The progress is amazing. She loves chewing that wood. Go, wear down that beak. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Wood to parrots is like a scratch pole to cats. You know what I'm saying? This is what they need to do. Now it's time for cuddling time. Yes. Mm. It's one thing to be sweet to an animal that's sweet to you, and it's another thing to be sweet to an animal that is mean to you. But all you gotta do is battle it with love. More love, more cuddles in love. Which this bird loves. African greys are not supposed to be the, the cuddly type, but the guy over here likes it. Surprisingly. You like it, right? You and your raging teenage hormones. My boy squad wants to kiss you. My boy squad wants to kiss you. Here I'm giving you my boy squad kisses. Yes, and she's kissing me back. Such a good bird. I got a shower. You stay there, okay? Stay there with Tita and Karna. Tita, just ignore her. Mm -hmm. Just ignore her. Mm -hmm. If she talks to you, ignore her. But if she talks to you, you can talk to her. So she'll get used to you. No, she'll stay up there. Mabu High Squad. I think I heard her say, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. She's trying, like, I, I could feel it. I, at one point, I really swear she said, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
She's conscious since I turned off the camera. She's so aware. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like she's trying to pronounce it. Wow, wow, wow. See? Do you guys hear that? It's like barely there. <laughs> Amazing. Look at her. Look at her vocalizing. She's like... It's, it's really fascinating to see her vocalize like this. Right before bedtime. Her vocalizations happen in the morning, usually around lunch, and then at night before she goes to bed. Okay, I'll sing to you now. Oh, you want the baby mine? Okay. Baby mine, don't you cry. Baby mine, dry your eye. Rest your head close to my heart, never to part, baby mine. What if I copy you? You sound like a transformer. Well, that scared her. Oh my gosh, she just copied my transformer voice. All right, guys, here at a special place. Sorry, I'm using my cell phone because I completely forgot my vlogging camera, but that's okay. This special place is something I think you guys would really like. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've been to this mall. Mm -hmm. no. My Buhai squad, I'm here with RJ and my Tita and Karina to enjoy an awesome 